Hello there fellow humans and welcome to this video and today I'll be looking at the Carnarvon Action X and the AMX M449. They're currently uh, sold in the store for the bundle with for 15,000 gold and if you have the luxury to have um, bought one of those gold boxes for 16,000 for about 20 euros you can get two of the best tier 8 heavy tanks for only 20 euro. Also, I do not recommend buying these on their own because, as you can see, the pricing is retarded. But if you have that gold box, 20 euro for two of the best tier 8s is very, very good. Now, let's look at the tanks. I just bought them, but I know that they're overpowered because by simply looking at the vehicles. Obviously, we could scroll through the statistics right here, but you can do that yourself. I'm not that kind of guy. Let's look at Blitzstar. So now here, obviously, we are at uh, Blitzstar, is pretty much every time. Already we can see the Knoven Action X has a substantially higher DPM than pretty much all the other vehicles in this comparison. Except maybe the T2065 can keep up. So this is a, a lineup of the best um, tier 8 premium tanks, in my opinion. So... Yeah, let's see how it's how these two stack up against each other and then obviously against the other. Obviously, the alpha of the Canon Action X is not very good. However, the reload is far supreme to any others. Caliber, not really good. Shell velocity, it doesn't really matter. Then the aim time is very, very good um, compared to all the others from the Canon. Unless the T26. The T26 is, in my opinion, the best tier 8 premium tank. The best. Because... It's a T125 at tier 8, and the T125 is the best at tier 10. Then, we got the Canavan Action X. Um, very good aim time dispersion, all that. Very good. Has a lot better um, dispersion than the T26 here, and a lot better than the AMX M42. Then, it's a little bit slower than um, the AMX and the T26, uh, but that doesn't really matter too much. Camouflage is not really important in, in Blitz. Traverse speed is pretty good. That's pretty much the best out of all these, but there you go. Quite coefficient is slightly lower, but then again, who cares about that? Then, obviously, we have the last important part, that is the armor. It is a lot better than, um, let's say, a T26's uh, third armor, but, however, you have to put in mind that the T26 is a very, very strong mantlet, so it is hard to penetrate that tank, even though the armor value is a lot less. And then we have the 252U, which is just like... It's Russian, you can't pen that shit. Then hull armor 130, 90 on, the, 90 on the side, and 40 at the rear, which means you can side scrape pretty well in this vehicle, just like you can with the T26 or a 252U. So, so far, it looks like a very, very good tank. Both look like very, very good tanks. And I can say that because in this vehicle, not in this account, actually, on my second account, I am in pretty much the top 10 with this vehicle. So I know what I'm talking about right here, 2800 average damage with this vehicle. So it is when you know what you're doing, the MX M4, even though the statistics looks a lot worse than uh, the Knavens, this vehicle can be absolutely godlike if you know how you play it. Because pretty much what you do with this thing, you get yourself a ridge line and then you just fuck them. It's quite simple. <sighs> I don't know why Wargaming equips tanks like this. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. Under no circumstances do you take the, the two of these. You always take a multi-kit and the repair kit. You always take those two. And then you can take whatever the fuck you want. You always take a multi-kit and repair kit. Remember that. Obviously, provisions, you just equip them and stand standard equipment stuff. So yeah, let's get into the action next. So now we're here in the battle. And let's go. Obviously, before the battle, we always have to check what tanks they have, what tanks we have. You can see T44, T49, uh, so they have quite mobile uh, medium tanks there. But the thing is, we have two light tanks, they have one light tank, we have one medium, they have one medium. So, we are a lot more mobile, so it wouldn't be a point just bogging down there. Because the worst thing you can do in this game is bunch up into one pile and then just sit in there. That is the worst thing you can do, because... Pretty much the only thing that's going to win you a game is map control. If you don't have map control, you can fuck off. If you don't control the map, you can't control the outcome of the battle. Therefore, most of the time, you lose. As you can see, the enemy T-44 is over there, which now pretty much means that nobody of the enemy team is here. Which means we can just push forward here. T-49 is sitting up there. He doesn't seem to be a very competent player at all because he's camping in a light tank. 
in a derp light tank, no less. Okay, now we lost the Borsig because he didn't understand how to play this game, I suppose. So now we can directly see that they're all bunched up. The entire enemy team is bunched up. We have the entire map to control. Now, obviously, once you have the map control, you have to use it. You can't just get map control and then just you automatically win. That's not how it works. You gotta go for it. So now we have gun depression, we have DPM. So we gotta use that, right? We gotta use that by taking out the Vorsig. Now we have an E25 down there. We can ignore the VK for now. But I don't really care about him. But now he has to, we have to look at him. And he bounces. There we go. Perfect. And now we can pick up the E. Nope, not yet. What can we do? Okay, the VK is moving backwards, which now means that if we flank him and go up there, we can use gun depression and just shoot at him while he can't pen me. Looks pretty good over there so far. Our T34 is very low, but either way, let's go. Let's try and shoot the IS for now. We gotta make some bank here. Put the adrenaline in. Fire. Shell did go in. Yes, it did. Perfect. Because if like if the, the shell doesn't hit the dirt behind him, then it did go in. Now we can use the very good penetration of this vehicle. Just go through the uh, VK. Um, I jinxed that, didn't I? Either way, uh, the T49 is keeping him busy and turned. He's not really playing this too smart because if he had a brain, he would turn to me because... He knows that he can't really out-turn T-49. So yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. You see, we took the map control, and we held it, and we used it to crush them from both sides. Because obviously you have one gun, you can't point them at two different directions. But if enemies shoot at you from different directions, you can't win. Now this is looking pretty good. T-49 is going forward, let's shoot him. Boom, there we go. And this should be right in the bag, now there's only the tiger left. This thing has decent mobility, but it's probably not going to be enough to get there. So... Yeah, he's dead. Pretty good game. That's the Action X. Pretty nice tank. T26 better though. The T26 is better. So now let's switch to the AMX M449 and um, see how that one goes, because... Like the Action X, it has a good gun, it has good armor, and it has... Good gun depression and good mobility. So let's see what it does differently. So now we're in the battle right here, and again, gotta look for the enemies. They have two tank destroyers and a lot of heavy tanks. Only one medium tank on every side, which means it's gonna be really brawly, and that is where this vehicle will excel. Because this tank is a brawler. It is basically. Well. An AMX 50B without an auto loader and a hell of a lot of armor. Um, okay, what do we do? What is the team doing? The WZ has seen that correctly. The T29 and the Celestia are clowns. You don't go there. You don't. Unless you're tank destroyer, you sit here. You don't. Know, you don't go up there. You, you just don't do that. This is this is cockfield. This is cockfield. You you don't do that. You want to go in there, not stay outside of it, because that's boring. In there is here. If you're if you're a virgin, you go here. He's too mad though. Okay, see, as you can see right there, armor. They can't do shit, man. This tank is godlike. Three ten alpha damage, which means you can pretty much trade with, with everyone except the four hundred alpha damage guns. But you're 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 fine. You're fine. I don't, I don't really say that because I'm in the top 10 in the entire world for this vehicle. I'm saying that because this tank just bangs hard. Enough sex jokes for now. Let's get down to some fucking. First of all, let's get the T29. I think the Lycan is AFK, which means we should have a very easy time taking out this T29. Obviously, he can't penetrate me. I think he has like 200 mils, 100 and something millimeters of penetration. It's 107. I don't even know. I don't care. It's tier 7. Um, he pent me once. A little bit over angling there. But you can see that he doesn't really have a chance. Lycan's dead because he was AFK. Don't be that guy that goes AFK. But, well, we kind of took map control. But the thing is, we took map control where you don't need map control. That's another thing. Just like 
just because you have the map control doesn't mean you win. You gotta use the map control right. Obviously. Like. Bruh. Either way, there's the 252U. He is a very dangerous nemesis. So, th I think the best tank to compare this vehicle to is the M6 um, EXP. However, the M6 a EXP just sucks. That one's shit. It's a big ugly goose that ain't good at shit. But this vehicle is very nice. Like, for example, look, look at this thing. I can just do this and easy penetration. He can't do that to me. If I wiggle, he can't pen me, or shouldn't be able to if he doesn't shoot his pen everything premium ammo, because if you don't have skill, you just shoot premium ammo. And there's his cheeks. That tank's just crap. Don't buy that thing. Buy this thing. This tank's amazing. Okay, now the Scorpion G is going around. He doesn't really get the point of trying to get away from the guy that's going to kill you with the Smasher. He has no clue how to play. I don't know what he's doing, but yeah. If you run into a smasher when you don't have armor, you're an imbecile. Either way, that's the MX for you. Both tanks are really, really good. Are they overpowered? Yes. Should you buy them? Yes. Am I an idiot? Yes. Am I thankful for you watching? Yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.